<coughs> Coach, how you doing, man? And how's the off season for you coming into? How's everything going for you? First of all, you and your family, and uh, and then how's life and weather in Gunnison, Colorado? Well, it's good. You know, it's uh, been a busy summer. Um, you know, we had summer camps and just busy. You know, getting guys ready and finally took about a week off. You know, last week and back at the Armac and. You know, it's a great opportunity for us to host summer camps in Gunnison. You know, obviously it's a great atmosphere, location, all those things. Uh, for us, it's um, an opportunity to bring student athletes onto our campus, you know, bring them to Gunnison. Um, outside of guys that we may recruit, you know, during their senior year or whatever it may be, we get a chance to bring some of those guys in early and they get a chance to see our university in, 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 you know, in Gunnison, Colorado and see the atmosphere around there where I don't know if necessarily those kids would have that opportunity uh, any other time. You know, I don't know how many of them are going to travel to Gunnison to come take a look at Western. Um, I know they will, but, you know, it's a chance for us to bring high school teams in in mass numbers and, and get them there. So it's been nice. You know, it's a good class. Um, you know, I think every year we've gotten better and better within our recruiting. Uh, recruiting the state of Colorado is always our primary goal. Um, you know, we want to recruit kids from, from this state, and they're our focus. And then we get into our pockets out of state and focus in a few different areas. Uh, the big thing for us is making sure that we find the right fit for our program, you know, what we're looking for. But we got a good group coming in. It's been a lot different where, you know, when a couple of these guys came in, it was we were trying to press them to play early. Um, trying to get him into the lineup a little bit faster than others. Um, you know, I don't know if we're necessarily at that point right now, you know, where we need to fit in a freshman. Now, they're all going to have the opportunity to come in and play and compete, and, you know, the best guys are going to go. Um, that doesn't change in our mentality, but, you know, I don't know if we're necessarily banking on a freshman coming in to have to play for us this year. You know, for us, I mean, when we're recruiting guys, you know, we're always talking academics with our guys. You know, we're, we're big on academics uh, with our guys. They do a good job in the classroom, and, and, you know, they've been acknowledged multiple times this year uh, with what they've accomplished. But, you know, it's an opportunity to come play college football. You know, not everybody has that opportunity, and, and to do it in a place like Gunnison, Colorado, um, you know, it's obviously a little isolated in those things, but uh, it's a chance for somebody to come and, and continue their you know, careers playing football, get their education in a place that, you know, it's probably limited distractions and those things. And, and um, you know, for us, it's being a part of a family, you know, getting a chance to, you know, continue your career with another 100, 110 guys on the team, um, you know, for the next four or five years. You know, they've, um, they've done nothing but improve each and every year, um, you know, with more experience it became better and better players. You know, obviously Brett and Austin have both um, you know, started for the last two years for us. You know, Brett as a redshirt freshman, Austin as a true freshman. Uh, their numbers got better every year. Brett ranks, you know, among some of the best in Western history. I know there's been a lot of pretty good quarterbacks coming out of through Western, and I'd put them at, you know, in that top of that group somewhere. Um, you know, obviously Austin, you know, same like Brett, has two more years to play, and, and um, they've had great careers so far. Um, you know, we're expecting them to, to have big numbers those two guys and then we return a handful of receivers for us you know a lot of our guys returned that played for us last year Travis Haney's going to be a senior for us um, I think he's roughly somewhere around 60 70 catches away from being the all-time leading receiver at Western you know and, and I don't know if I would have said that four years ago uh, but he's done a great job um, then we have Darren Brady um, Kyle Atkins all guys that started almost all the games for the last few years so there's no doubt, you know, Cameron's been a great player in this league, too, and, and I'd put Austin neck and neck with him. Yeah, so. Both of them could be up for some major sure. awards, yeah. I would say. So. Yep. You know, we got some um, guys to replace in those things. Um, you know, we lost a few linebackers, uh, lost a few guys in the secondary. Our D-line all returns, you know, so we got some experience finally coming back there um, with uh, Austin Yerko, uh, Tommy Chavera, you know, both guys that have played in a lot of games for us for the last two years. Uh, we got a couple transfers just coming in at defensive end that'll help us immediately as well. Uh, Victor Alvarez was also a true freshman that played for us last year. Um, at linebacker, you know, we graduated three. Um, you know, you met Jake earlier. Um, he's as good as them. You know, I mean, those guys were good players for us for the last couple years. Uh, I think you're going to see him make a lot of plays. I mean, he's our kind of guy, and, and um, you know, makes a lot of plays as a physical player. Um, you know, and then we got some young guys that are going to have to step up and go. You know, and I think they'll they'll they're up for the challenge. Uh, at the same time, you know, a few of these guys that are going into their sophomore year. I mean, they've had a chance to take some reps over the last couple years. 
Um, so they've, they've got some playing experience. Uh, we're just going to ask them to embrace some larger roles moving forward. In the secondary, you know, you had a chance to talk to Gerald. Um, you know, played corner for us the last three years, moves to safety this year. Uh, you know, I think you're going to see him make a lot of plays on the ball. Um, you know, he sticks his nose in there in the run game and then you cover downfield. Um, you know, with the safeties in that group, you know, we have four seniors, including him. Um, so we got some older guys that have played, Mike Lopez, Jacob Weiss, um, Jade Gale. You know, four guys that have good experience. And we got a few younger guys that are going to be clicking on their heels here pretty quick in a couple weeks. Um, at corners, we obviously don't have a returning guy that started for us. Brandon Ward took, I think he started one game for us last year, maybe two games. Um, so you, you're going to see some new faces at corner for us. Uh, for us, we're going to put the best four on the field. So uh, our four best secondary guys will find themselves in the rotation. But we got a good nucleus coming back and a lot of competition at that position. And, um, you know, we're excited to see what we can do. How do special teams shape it up? Um, you know, we returned both of our guys that have started the last couple of years. Dakota Swinehart's going to be a senior for us. Um, he's handled all of our punting duties outside of, I know Brett likes to claim he was, he's also a little bit of a punter, but uh, outside of him punting one game for us, Dakota's handled all of our duties. He averages, you know, close to 45 yards or so um, a punt. And he was, you know, all conference selection last year and, you know, um, and then Ryan Winky has handled all of our place kicking duties for the last about year and a half, two years now, and uh, was an all conference selection last year as well. So those guys return. I'm going to break in a new long snapper. Um, you know, I think we got our guy pegged in, but uh, we'll see what happens here in, in fall camp. So one more question. Yeah. Uh, it's been good. You know, it's been a great experience. You know, we've us, um, we know we've had some transitions in our administration uh, over the last about year and a half or so, but. Um, from the top down, it's been great support. You know, they've changed a few things and helped us um, from the administrative level as well, trying to get get us to a level to compete with the rest of the teams in the RMAC. So it's been great having that support from them. Um, you know, as far as the community goes, I would say it's at an all-time high for engagement. You know, from them, uh, not only for football, all of our athletic programs for Western State as well. Uh, in particular, the, the interest in football has drastically grown over the last few years. I think you see a lot of people at our games and a lot of people follow uh, Mountaineer football now. So.